Meantime, drivers in Commerce City, beware. Starting today, you'll have to pay double the fines in certain problem areas if you're caught speeding. Let's get right to Greg Perez on it live this morning. And it's a huge, this is an interesting kind of concept here, Greg. Uh, yeah, good, good morning, guys. It certainly is an interesting co uh, concept, but this uh, this area in Commerce City has certainly been a hot spot for speeders over the past couple of years, which is the reason why they're doing this. And we've seen message boards throughout Commerce City this morning notifying drivers that today is the day that they are going to be starting to increase fines for speeding. So this is all because police in the area have noticed speed has been an issue. So again, starting today, fines will double in four different stretches of Highway 2 and Tower Road. Commerce City Traffic Sergeant Nicholas Arias says that this will promote the safety of drivers in and around the Commerce City area. You can definitely tell that they are speeding. Second of all is that there are other vehicles on the road that they are putting in danger, uh, as well as the police officers that are on the road trying to enforce these laws. So again, we are expecting police to keep a very close eye out for speeders on four different areas of Highway 2 and Tower Road. Check out your screen. These are the areas. So it's Colorado Highway 2 from 72nd Avenue to 79th Avenue, Tower Road from 81st Avenue to 87th Avenue, Colorado Highway 2 from 88th Avenue to 95th Avenue, and last but not least, Tower Road from 96th Ave to 103rd Avenue. According to police records, there were over 400 tickets issued on portions of Highway 2 just last year alone, and one driver was even stopped by police going 121 miles per hour near one of those hot spots. So we have chatted with people in and around the Commerce City area, and they're pretty excited about Commerce City taking actions and police taking action, I should say, uh, to really help or assist in those drivers slowing down uh, because it has been a problem over the past couple of years. So hopefully things are going to get much safer on the roadways for not only police officers, but of course for drivers as well. Reporting live in Commerce City, Greg Perez, Fox 31 News. All right, Greg, thank you.